It's a very dangerous assertion to make. What does it even mean? Learn Christ before you learn Paul. That's heresy. Some of us know the implication of this statement. That is why we are trying to emphasize it. It is a subtle way of the devil to drive you away from the faith. If you check church history, many people deviate from the faith right from this statement because once you make that statement, you begin to lose um, the faith. You begin to lose faith in the integrity of the New Testament, which is actually the anchor of your faith. The epistles of Paul are not Paul's autobiography. They are inspirations of God. If you don't yet understand certain things that was said in his epistles, what do you understand? Leave that aside and trust God for understanding. Then enjoy the fellowship of God on other areas. Once the core foundation of your faith is not affected, then for you to now conclude and say, Okay, I will just take it as the words of Paul. They are not like that. You remember the disciple of Jesus who made a statement that was rebuking Jesus, that Jesus was not going to die. Jesus rebuked the devil. He said, Satan, get lost. See, when you make a statement like this, learn Paul, don't learn Christ, or learn Paul before you learn Christ, that's Satan. Forget who said it. Either directly, or there is no explanation to justify it. That than to say, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. For and it shows the, the it shows the lack of foundation, basic foundation in the words of Christ. It's like when the Pharisees were, even the just disciples were telling Jesus, show us God. Don't tell us we are the way. You just show us God and let it be. That is the same thing you are saying when you say, okay, let's learn Christ. Don't let us learn Paul. You are like show us Christ, Paul. You you get out of the sight. But Paul is the vessel. Paul is the vessel, he is not Christ, he is not meant to be Christ, but when you don't learn him, you can't learn Christ. In fact, your misjudgment of Paul is misjudgment of Christ, because his words are words of Christ. Perhaps it's all scriptures are given by the inspiration of the Spirit of God. And let me close with this scripture. I want to listen attentively, Second Peter 1 verse 19. It says, because of that experience, we have even greater confidence in the message proclaimed by the prophets. You must pay close attention to what they wrote, for their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and Christ, the morning star, shines in your heart. Above all, you must realize that no prophecy in scripture ever came from the prophet's own understanding or from human initiative. No, those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit as they spoke from God. If you don't understand something, say you don't understand it. Do not then bring out your own meaning or interpretation or just discard the whole word of God. And there is no excuse to justify that statement. Just apologize for it. And I wouldn't have made this statement if it's just because the man of God said, said it. No, I began to see believers repeating the same thing. And I see, and I see that this is dangerous. You can shipwreck your faith as a result. Even Peter gave credence to the mandate of Paul. That's in the book of 2 Peter 3, verse 15. So let's be careful. These things can shipwreck our faith. Go back to the foundation. And when you see somebody repeat this repeatedly, there's something fundamentally wrong about the person's learning of the gospel of Christ. That's all I can say.